Hello to everyone and welcome back to another lesson. I'm Jason and in today's video what we're going to be doing is Red is the Rose. So guys this isn't actually a traditional Irish song, it was taken from the melody of the Scottish song the Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond and the lyrics then were just changed to an Irish variation of the song. This is a well-known Irish song though and it, the earliest appearance of this song was in 1934 so it has been around a while and the lyrics really resonate with a lot of people. So you can play this slow or you can play this fast. Most people play it slow with a little bit of a finger picking variation which I will show you in this video and most people just do the nice soft strumming which we will be covering first. So guys let's get into the video. Okay there are quite a few chords we need for this song. We have G, A, B minor, E minor, a7 and F sharp minor. If you know those chords, skip ahead to where we get into the strumming of the song. And if not, stick with me here and I'll quickly show you them now. So let's start off with our G chord. G is second box, fifth string, which is the A string, third box, sixth string, which is E, and third box, first string, which is also E. Then we have a D chord, which is the second box, third string, G, second box, first string, E, and the third box, second string, B. Then we have an E minor, which is second box, five and four, or A string, D string. We have A, which is the second box, four, three, two, or D, G, B. We then have A7, which is exactly like A, just remove that middle finger. So the only strings you're holding there are the fourth and the second, D and B, both in the second box. Okay, next chord we're going to need is F sharp minor. So this is a bar chord you have to cover all of box two with that first finger. And then in the fourth box, you're covering the fifth and fourth string A and D. Now you can use that middle finger to help support the first finger if you're new to bar chords. And if you're used to bar chords, just play it naturally. And finally, then we have B minor. There are two versions to this. We have a chord version and we have a bar chord version. I'll show you the chord one first and then the bar chord. So the chord is the second box first string or E. Then the third box, second string or B. And in the fourth box, it's the fourth and third string D and G. Now, if you're doing the chord version, only strum the bottom four strings like you would on a D chord. And then to make it into a bar chord, straighten up that first finger and cover all the strings. And then you can strum all the strings as well. So chord or bar chord, it doesn't really matter. It depends on how well you can play chords um, or bar chords. So you can do the normal chord version, only strum the bottom four strings or bar chord version and strum all the strings. They both sound very similar. Okay, and they are the chords. So let's get into the song. So we are starting off with a D chord. Now the standard strum pattern here is down, down, up, up, down, up. So take it easy like that. Think of it in two parts rather than just one long strum pattern. Down, down, up. It's the first part. Up, down, up is the second part. So in D, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you're quickly changing to the B minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Nice and slow if you're playing the slower version. E minor is next. Down, down, up, up, down, up, and G. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then it goes D, B minor again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, B minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up. G and then A. Down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, up, up, down, up. Then the second line starts off with your G. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we have F sharp minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then the next one is G and E minor. Now these are colored because they both share the strum pattern. So they're each just one beat. Down, down, up, down, down, up. So G, down, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, and G, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we have D, down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, A into A7. So you go into your A chord and then halfway through you just remove that middle finger. So you can go down, down, up, remove, down, down, up, and D, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that is the basic strumming to the song. It's just each one of those chords with down, down, up, up, down, up as your main strumming. And then for the ones I've colored in, just down, down, up, the start of the strumming pattern. Now, as you get a little bit faster, that A and A7 can join together. So you can do down, down, up, lift off that A finger for the middle finger for the up, down, up. 
and then continue into D. So the two different versions on that A, you have your down, down, up played for both. Down, down, up, A7, down, down, up, D. Down, up, up, down, up. Or down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you continue through the strumming. You just remove that middle finger halfway through the strumming pattern. And that gives you your A and A7. So that's played for the chorus and the verse the whole way through the song. So you can either play Red Is The Rose or you can play the Scottish song either. Um, or you can create a mashup of both. I like to start off with Red Is The Rose and then I pick up the speed and the tempo throughout the song and then I kind of transition into the other version. And it kind of gets the room really pumped. So guys, I will quickly show you now a little picking version that you can do with each of these chords if you are playing a nice soft acoustic. Okay guys, so for the picking, this is just something I do myself. So we're going to start off in your D chord and I'll take it from there. I'll do one of the low chords and one of the middle chords. So low chords and middle chords are just strings where you focus on the low or the middle section. And then the higher chords are the ones where you focus on the top chord, the top strings. So for D, we're mainly focusing on the bottom strings. So I first start off with a strum. And then I hit the bass note, which is the D string. And then B, G, D. So you can hit your bass note B, G, D, or hit your bass note E, B, G. So it depends if you are a bassy singer or um, a higher pitched singer. You can hit the lower notes or the higher pitch notes. So it's strum and then bass, one, two, three. And then again. Just like that. So strum, bass, one, two, three. Strum, bass, one, two, three. Um, the next chord after that is a B minor, so I'll cover that one next. So it's the fifth string that I'm hitting now, the bass note. Right. And then I'm hitting B, G, D. So it's strum, bass, one, two, three, strum, bass, one, two, three. And then E minor, and again, your bass note's on the fifth. And then G, your bass note now is on the sixth, but the middle note still remains the same, B, G, D. So it's ba so it's strum, bass note on the sixth, and then your B G D. So strum, bass B G D, strum, bass B G D. So most of them are just the B G D straight after you strum and hit your bass. So strum, bass B G D. The only chord that is different is that D chord because it's lower. So the um, bass and the third note can be the same. So if that's a little low, you can just switch down. So you can go strum. Bass E B G strum, bass E B G. So D is the only one that's different because it is lower. Everything else then, the bass notes either on the fifth or sixth string, and then you're hitting B G D after. So it's strum, bass B G D strum, bass B G D, and that'll sound a little something like this. So it is a little bit softer, a little bit um, smoother just for starting off into song, even an introduction if you like. And then you can go into the strum version or you can keep playing that the whole way through. It is nice and soft. So guys, if you liked this video, hit that like button. It will help this channel grow and help others see this video when they are searching for the song. And if you are new, subscribe. I do release a video once every week. It's my new schedule. I'm trying to stick tr to it. Every Sunday, there will be one song out. Throw in those comments. Let me know what songs you like to learn or if there's any tips you would like me to include in these videos just to help you along. I am going to do covers of these songs and backing tracks for these songs and I'm going to upload them onto my SoundCloud account. So you can visit that account and just uh, see some of the songs listen to how they're supposed to sound and then you can also play along with the backing track and you can add the vocals and the guitar yourself they will be up soon they're not out now but they will be up soon i'd say if this video is um a year old or so they're probably there now but as it's new they're just not up yet okay but guys thanks for watching as always i will see you next time